Hey, I'm Liz from Linda's Crochet and Mower. <laughs> How's everybody doing? This is Ain't Talk About Nothing Tuesday. But I have a good bit to talk about. I want to do a review. I can find them. I'm going to do a review on Pioneer Woman hooks. I got them. You got a fancy butterfly here. She's got a darker blue one, but I didn't. She's got a darker blue one, but I didn't see the darker blue one. I just saw this one. And there they are. You got more steel hooks than you have crochet hooks. I do not use these steel hooks. I don't do doilies and stuff like that. It's too small. But they have, she, you got more, you got 17 steel hooks. Two, three, six, seven, eight crochet hooks. And I've been crocheting with them. I did the bucket hat with them. I did the bonnet, the bonnet with them. I did, um... They are no name. There's no name on it. And then your size and everything is there like usual. They kind of, to me, look like a rounded boy. But kind of, maybe it's like a boy hook because it's rounded. Susan Bates is more of a tip. So that said, these got no names on them. Um, they crochet pretty good. They slide pretty good in, um, this is what I'm doing. I know this isn't going to be my whip. Hopefully I can get it done by Thursday, but it's a bag of days, bobble, I want to say bobble stitch. She calls it puff stitch. It's her puff stitch shawl. Isn't that beauty? And I'm doing it in paint box. Paint box blue. Hairs everywhere. And, um, I didn't know how pretty that was looking until I looked at it on the camera. Ooh, that's pretty. Isn't it pretty? It is a little bit of a yarn eater. It, cause you gotta do four, four, four times for a bobble. You gotta do nine wraps for a bobble per bobble so i mean it's pretty good of a yard eater but not that bad it's not bad as some things it's not bad as some things but these go in and around it pretty good i mean it slips it doesn't break the yarn it don't break the yarn um I'm right-handed, but this may have me looking like I'm left-handed. <laughs> I don't know. See, you just have to do four times in a bobble. And that's why it's a little bit of a yarn eater. But I mean it. This is not even one ball yet. This I haven't even finished one ball yet. I know you can't see my face, but... My daughter brought this back for me from for me from Daytona Beach. Isn't it pretty? I like it. She got that from me from Daytona Beach. Up to the face. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and you just do bobbles and bobbles and chain two in between them. And, I mean, it's really, I call it a bobble again. She, It's a puff stitch. Puff stitch, puff stitch. Not a bobble, it's puff stitch shawl. But it is quite easy. But I mean, it's a three row repeat. But I just write down the repeats. That's all I do. I just write them down. That way I don't forget what repeat they are. And uh, isn't that pretty? It goes with the yarn and everything. Everything is color coordinated with this power near woman. But she does got solids out. I am going to get some solids. 
next month. Um, this is pricey, but I was given the money, <laughs> so I went and bought it. <laughs> uh, this is $24.95 for these. There is, I want to say, two, four, six. There's 16 metal hooks versus eight, eight crochet hooks. And they're all within her theme too. See, everything matches. See the, everything matches. So, I mean, if you like that sort of thing and you don't mind paying $24.95 for the pack. See, I wouldn't pay $24.95 unless it had a case with it. Now, um, some hooks at Walmart, the ergonomic hooks, they do not have a case with them. And guess what? They're $30 now. They were $24.95, but they're $29.99 now. They're $30. They're not worth. They're not worth it because they don't have the case to it. I'm not going to pay that much for something that don't have the case. You can get on Timu and get a whole thing of case, everything for like nine dollars of ergonomic hooks in the case for like nine bucks. If you don't want to go the Timu route, I tried to order off Timu. They wouldn't accept my card. And I've ordered off there before. So, since they don't accept my card, I emailed them and I told them, I won't be ordering because you don't accept my card. Try it again. Try it again. No, 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 no. One time, you don't accept my card. I don't try it again because that's a scam waiting on you. <laughs> that is a scam waiting on you. Water. Um... I think that's it. Oh, this is Betsy's thing. I think that's it for for ain't talking about nothing Tuesday. <laughs> Seems like I had a lot, but I wanted to do like the review on the um, the Pioneer Woman hooks because people are not buying them because they are twenty four ninety five. Now I wouldn't have bought them. Unless, you know, I was gifted the money to buy them. So, um, that's why I bought mine. <laughs> that's why I bought these. <laughs> and then when I went to the Walmart in, uh, Walterboro, I see the different case. A dark blue case with flowers all over it. But I like this better. I don't like the dark blue. I would never buy, I will, uh, uh no more. This is it. I just did that to do a review on it because everybody was asking certain people for um, a review on the Pioneer Woman hooks and they wouldn't do it because of the price of these hooks. So since I was gifted the money and then I bought it, then I could do the review on it. And they do crochet very well. They do slide in and out very well. They do not, uh, what do you call, break your yarn. Like go in between your yarns and catch only two plies and not they'll catch all plies they catch all plies i've been do i did the bucket hat with them and then i did um uh, i'm doing that shawl with them now this with it now and it's sliding really good really well not as good as tulip or clover but i mean they don't catch and click and pull and they're pretty good but it's, you got to get over the price of them first because they are not worth that much. I mean, they've got a no name on them. I mean, they ain't got a brand name on them or nothing. So they don't really. And I've been using them for it since I got them. For a little while. And, um. Uh, See, it, it don't break the um, the yarn. 
it don't break it. It is a three row repeat, but I write the repeats down. So if you ever get, somebody don't do time stamps or they forget to do time stamps, then you just write down, listen to the video, and write down the repeats. When they say five, six, and seven are your repeats, listen and start writing down. That's what I do. And then after I get the repeats wrote down, I back her up. And then I listen to her and crochet with her for the repeats. To make sure I've wrote everything down right. To make sure I've wrote everything down right. <laughs> okay. Um, like, share, subscribe. Catch you on flip side. Bye. See you Thursday.